Okay, so today I want to focus on cPanel packages. Uh, you may have seen that term thrown around, especially if you're uh, have been using Domain of One's own for a while now. But a cPanel package is a great functionality that allows you to offer different versions of cPanel. Uh, to a group of users. So uh, we find this all the time where admins will come to us and say, listen, I'm, I've been using Domain of One's Own for a while now, and I'm starting to see these two different cohorts being formed. You might have your group of beginners that, that sign up and sign in for the first time and cPanel's just really overwhelming. There's a lot going on, a lot of features, and it can seem really scary. And so they might not need as much storage or you may want to strip down the applications and only really give access to a couple. Maybe you want to take out the email section of cPanel. So you, you just really kind of minimize the functionality while still giving a good experience. Whereas your other group might be your heavy hitters, the ones that need more storage. Maybe they just they need access to all of the applications and they need it now and they're just ready to go for it. And so you might start to see these two groups being formed. Um, another example might be student versus versus faculty and you everyone gets the same application, but it's just a storage change. So whatever that may be, you know, you can go in and manually change storage on a one off user basis and same thing with applications and, and features, but that it just it gets really messy. And so we really just try and encourage schools that want to set up these different versions of cPanel more or less to use the cPanel packages. So cPanel packages, in order to set them up, there's sort of three, I guess, pieces of the puzzle, right? There's the cPanel package, which is going to be like your settings. It's going to be your storage. It's going to be um, FTP accounts, um, subdomains, shell access, the settings for that cPanel package. The second piece is going to be your feature list. It's going to be the cPanel icons. So if we want to take out that full email section or the take out the full, you know, the advanced icons, um, you know, maybe you want to take out add on domains, whatever that the C, the cPanel icons, that's the second piece. It's called a feature list. The third piece is going to be your installatron apps. Um, so if you want to take out all applications besides WordPress and Omeka, that can be done. Or, you know, um, if you want to change the backup settings, you know, the type of settings in on Installatron, all of that can be separated based off of these groups. So three pieces, we've got our package settings, our cPanel icon list or our feature list, and then the Installatron application list. So we're going to work through that together today in this video. Um, if you're not sure what package your, I guess, group of users has, a great way to find out super quickly will just be to go to list accounts. I'm going to make my picture smaller here. Um, but if you go to list accounts and you scroll over, there is a package column and I am on uh, our demo domain of one's own school server. Um, so they're using WordPress in the classroom. That's the package name. But if you're just using a standard um, domain of one's own server, then you this will likely say basic or default or something of that nature. So that's what I know uh, the package is called here. And I can make changes to this existing package, or I can create two completely new ones, however you want to do it. Um, the choice is yours. So to start uh, to edit a package or to create a new one, we want to come up and search package. OK, and under the packages section here, we have add, delete, edit, and then that feature manager, which we'll get to in a second. Um, so I'm going to come to edit and you can see those are the packages that are currently available. 
but I, I don't want to mess with that. I'm going to actually, for, for the purposes of this tutorial, just add a new one. So let's say that I have been working with domains for a couple of months now, and it's really starting to work its way out that students need something that's separate than faculty members. So I'm going to make two packages called one called student and one called faculty. And it's worth noting that everyone who signs up is going to get one default package. And then it's your job as the administrator to go in and change that package based off of who the user is. So it's not perfect in that way, but um, just kind of worth noting that, that if you want to use the packages feature, there is that involved. So, okay, faculty, we definitely still want to limit quota, but we're going to give them around five gigs. Um, same thing, we'll, we'll, you know, give them a monthly bandwidth. We want to keep some of that uh, limited. It's just, it's kind of recommended to set those limits, even if they are high. Um, I'm fine with unlimited FTP accounts, though, unlimited email. You know, we, we want to turn email off. They've got their university email, so we'll turn that off. Uh, so these settings for emails don't matter. Um, sub unlimited subdomains, totally fine. Um, and we also can say, OK, you can add in your own domains. Not a big deal. So if you've got a top level domain, this can be added in. Email settings don't matter. We're going to turn that off. Um, and we want them to have access to shell. So I'll keep that and we'll come back to the feature list. Remember that's part two here. So I'm just going to click add. Um, and remember I call this faculty. So now if I come back up to edit a package, that faculty package now exists and I can always go in there and make changes to that set, those settings at any point. Um, so that's step one. We just did our package settings. Step two is going to be the feature manager. OK, um, and you can make changes to that default list of, of cPanel uh, icons. But instead, we want to create a new one that we're going to associate with the faculty package. So I'm going to call this faculty. I find it's best to just keep those names pretty much in line through the three pieces. So if you're going to call it a faculty package, call it a faculty feature manager list. And these are faculty members, so they're going to get access to everything. That's fine. But then you may want to go in and turn off email. You know, we've got a guide on how to do that. For this purpose, I'm not going to worry about it, but we're going to click save. Cool. So you can see that that was taken care of. Um, if I want to make changes to that later on, I can still do that there. OK, so I can always go back and make changes. It's not a one and done kind of thing. But now we need to make sure that our faculty package is is recognizing this this faculty feature list because it looks like there's a couple here. So I need to go back and edit that package. Right. And I'm going to edit faculty. Cool. And now we can go to the bottom here. And for feature list, we want to select that faculty feature list. We click Save Changes. So now I know that anyone who gets this faculty package is not only going to get this disk quota, you know, this amount of FTP accounts, whatever, but they're also going to get that feature list. So we've done two parts, right? The settings the feature list for the cPanel icons. Next step is going to be the Installatron applications. OK, so because Installatron is a third party that's kind of working inside of cPanel, inside of WHM, it, the terminology is going to look a little differently. So instead of being called a cPanel package, it's it's going to be a group in Installatron. OK, so when we come up here and we click group, um, you might see advanced here. You might not see anything if this is a standard domain of one's own instance. Not a big deal at all. We're just going to create a new one. And basically, any applications that we add to this group here, are we can then associate it with our faculty 
package that we've already created. So I'm going to give it the same name, just continue that mindset. Um, and now in this window, this is the one place that can be kind of confusing because there is a little syntax involved, but we want to basically add those control panel packages with the prefix hashtag. So we're going to add that hashtag here and add that cPanel package. So if you called this student package, you know, whatever that would be, that's that's how it would be called. You can also associate this group for what it's worth with individual users. Again, that starts to get kind of in the weeds a bit. So I'm not sure why you would want to do that. But if you ever needed to, you can assign Installatron groups with specific cPanel users. But for now, we just want it to be our faculty cPanel package. So we're going to use that. Um, and we're going to click Save As. Cool deal. So now we've got our faculty group, and it's owned by the uh, the faculty cPanel. That's the, the member that has access to this group. So now we can go into Access Control. We want to make sure we're editing the right group, right? So we come up to the top right, find our faculty group, and now I can go in and uncheck icons as I want to, um, to disable certain applications. Since this is a faculty package, I might keep them all installed, but perhaps, you know, I don't want to, this little star column here, maybe you don't want to feature MediaWiki, maybe instead, you know, you want to feature vanilla forums or something like that. Okay, so you make your changes however you want. Um, and we'll come down to the bottom and click Save All. Um, it should be working. Cool. So changes are saved. We can come into, um, gosh, what else? Custom or not customizations, maybe features. So we can come down and say, okay, do we want to allow for www or do we want to prioritize one over the other? Um, you know, do we want emails to be sent out to faculty members when they get errors? All of those settings happen in Installatron. Do we want to allow for two-factor authentication? Do we want to allow faculty members to enable that WordPress multi-site option? So all of that exists here. Um, which you're welcome to go through and, and decide. Um, but we, I will say that when we set up the server, we do kind of keep all of those settings as the recommended option. So choice is yours if you need to make those changes or not. Uh, but that is allowed. And obviously make sure that you're choosing that proper group there. Okay, so to, I guess, summarize here, right? We have, if I go back to our main homepage in groups, we have our faculty group in Installatron that has been assigned to the faculty cPanel pa package. So that's where that connection's happening. Then in packages, let me come refresh my page. If we come into packages here, remember we have our faculty package that now exists. And if I edit that, I can make changes to those settings in the faculty package. And then at the bottom, I can see that faculty feature list. Um, and I can make changes to that in feature manager here um, or in view. So I'm going to come to this feature manager and I can edit that faculty list right there. Uh, so not a problem at all. Now, let's say that faculty, this faculty group is not the default cPanel package, right? It's everyone's going to, we're using mostly students, you know, so everyone is going to get that student cPanel package maybe or the default cPanel package. And every now and then we might get a faculty member who needs the faculty cPanel. So um, this is kind of, I guess, now we're kind of moving into the steps for changing cPanel packages for someone. So I can see that this user has the WordPress in the classroom package, which is gonna be the default package across the board. Um, if I click this plus sign here, I can expand that account 
and I've got some actions here. You know, I can change quota one off. Again, if you're going to be changing quota over and over like this, you might as well just create a package with more quota. That way you don't have to change it over and over again. You just change the plan. So again, we're talking about different jargon and terminology here. It's, it's weird that they call it plan in that instance, but that you're actually changing the package. So now I can come in change that package and click upgrade or downgrade. And now this user is going to get the faculty package. So that's how you would change a package for a one-off user. Um, if you wanted to change the default package that a user, that all users see, that actually happens in WHMCS. So it's something that we'll cover in another video, but hoping this was helpful um, to kind of give you an overview of how cPanel packages work.